having a brain aneurysm has been compared to a ticking time bomb inside your head. Half the people who experience a ruptured aneurysm die before getting to the hospital. An aneurysm is a weak spot and an outpouching on a blood vessel. Think of a balloon. As a balloon expands, the skin of the balloon thins. So when that happens on a blood vessel, as the th skin thins, it can be prone to rupture. About 1 in 50 Americans have a brain aneurysm and don't know it. For most, though, it will never present a problem. Nowadays, we have a way to screen for those aneurysms, and that's with an MRA, or a magnetic resonance angiography. It's an MRI that looks specifically at the blood vessels. So that's one way that we can screen and sometimes find them before they rupture. If an aneurysm needs treatment either to prevent a rupture or to stop a brain bleed, surgeons can now do it without major surgery. In the old days, we used to have to do surgery, a craniotomy, we'd take off the skull, lift the brain, and literally put a clip across the base of the aneurysm so no further blood gets in. But the newer uh, innovation involves uh, putting coils into the aneurysm and that's uh, performed through a series of catheters that are accessed through the groin artery and then navigated into the aneurysm. Called endovascular coiling, it's performed inside the artery. The coils are then deployed and that allows the aneurysm to sort of clot off from the inside. Most aneurysms rupture without warning, but less invasive techniques to both treat or prevent a brain bleed may give patients peace of mind. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.